Myanmar is one of the most biologically diverse countries in Southeast Asia and home to hundreds of ethnic groups whose livelihoods are intimately bound up with the environment. Forests cover almost half the territory. The 2,000 km long coastline starts in the Bay of Bengal and ends in the Andaman Sea with over 800 islands. Nowadays, in Myanmar, natural areas are rapidly deteriorating under the pressures of economic development and a growing population. Our story is based in the Miek Archipelago, the southern strip of Myanmar on the border with Thailand, among countless islands and islets in the Andaman Sea. 3,000 people live here in the only marine national park of Myanmar, Lampi. dramatic sea cliffs, magnificent mangrove forests, lush vegetation and unique wildlife, Lampi is also the motherland of the Mokan Sea Gypsies. All this is at risk of disappearing. Fishing is the only source of food and income for the Lampi population. But in recent years, many fishing boats, including trawlers, have flocked to these waters from coastal towns and from Thailand too. The increased competition has resulted in a significant decline in the catch for local fishermen and has led them to use illegal practices such as blast fishing to support their threatened livelihoods. A project of the Istituto Oikos, an NGO supported by the Italian Development Corporation, aims to protect biodiversity and support the local people in finding new ways to improve their lives. Together with the Myanmar Forest Department, Oikos has developed a park management plan to conserve the key natural resources and regulate human activities. Oikos has supported the construction of park facilities, a ranger house, a park office, a guest house and a speedboat and has provided equipment such as GPS, binoculars and camera traps. Rangers, local scientists and community members have been trained to perform environmental monitoring and patrolling activities to stop illegal logging and hunting, dynamite fishing and over-harvesting of marine resources. The project encourages the active participation of both the community and the local authorities. Although Lampi is a marine national park, the islands are covered by tropical rainforest. Large trees up to 26 meters tall tower behind sandy white beaches. Along rivers and freshwater sources is the mangrove forest, possibly the best conserved in all Southeast Asia home to a rich variety of birds, reptiles and marine life. Over a thousand species were recorded in a few years and more will be added with ongoing research. Two hundred and fifty species of birds, including a large colony of plain pouched hornbills, make Lampi a bird watcher's paradise. Over 2,000 flying foxes fill the sky at dusk, moving from island to island. To raise awareness of the importance of conserving natural resources, environmental seminars are regularly organized in Lampi schools. The main village has been equipped with a water supply system and campaigns to raise awareness surrounding the correct use of water and good hygienic practices are ongoing. The project supports a training program to start community-based tourism initiatives and the construction of a visitor centre that will host a multifunction hall for educational activities, seminars and workshops and accommodation facilities for visiting researchers and consultants. Here, 
there is an opportunity for the local community to develop small-scale accommodation, excursion activities, kayaking trips into the park, bird-watching tours and jungle trails. Tourism must have the lowest environmental footprint possible and must benefit the local community to such an extent that they can eventually eliminate overfishing and hunting. The vision is for Lampi Marine National Park to become a model for ecotourism in protected areas of Myanmar, offering unique visitor experiences that include extraordinary landscapes and seascapes and the chance to experience authentic encounters with local communities. <music> <laughs>